Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part three of how to make an MLO for 5M. I just want to point out at this point, I'm by no means an expert. I'm making these videos for my own sake to look back on when I get a little stuck. If I do get a little stuck, I'm getting a lot more familiar with uh, 3DS Max. Um, so they're not only for your sake, they're for my own sake. And if they can help you along the way, then so be it. Happy days. So following on, last video, we actually made the MLO, the box to go inside the model. Uh, and then part one, we did the occlusions and the collisions. And we remove the door. So this is part three. I'm going to show you how to remove the collision, how to add, sorry, a collision to your building so you don't just sink through the floor, etc. So if we look at our folder, this is the project folder. This is the folder that we're going to actually stream on the actual server. We've got our occlusion files, we've got our collision files, we've got the this building was the actual building we removed the door, and this one is the MLO, the little box that we've made for that building that goes inside that building. Okay, so we, we saved the 3DS project. So this is the hit down here. So let's open it back up and we can get right to it. This video shouldn't be too long because having a collision is pretty pretty quick. Let's go and check check it out. So let's go to let's wait for our project to load up. Come on. So here it is. So YouTube tutorial. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna select all these. Uh, we're going to right click, we're going to clone, we're going to go instant share, copy. We can delete the other ones, so the ones that haven't got the double, double one, we can delete these. Uh, let's go to delete. Let's go delete, walls, delete, and we can re remove this main parent, delete. So here we go, we've got the floor, roof, and walls. So if I click the floor, what we want to do now is we need to go to... Gims Evo. We need to go create object. We're going to create a collision. We're going to create a mesh modifier. The floor. Let's come out of this. So if I go floor, go like that. So there we go. So we've got these flags down here. So if we want to click map animal, map cover, map dynamic, map vehicle, map weapon. We need to do this for all of these. Uh, but what I could I could just attach them. Uh, we'll have to do that. So if I go to that and I go to editable mesh, let's just go to polygon a second. Now let's not do that. Let's go. How did we attach it again? So if I go floor one, floor one, floor. So I've got them flags on it. Do do do. Attach. So attach roof one, okay. Attach walls one, okay. Then what we want to do now is let's just take a take a quick look at the schematic view. Schematic view, okay. Floors all one, and we're going to go to Gims Evo again. Gims Evo, and we're going to go create object, create a collision, create a composite. Click the map. Let's create a new folder file up there. We're going to rename this to, these are important, these names. Let's go YouTube Collision. YouTube Collision. Lillen. Enter. Put this inside there so it's a parent of that. Now what we want to do, give us Evo. Let's go to Export. Desktop. Let's create a new, new folder. Export collision. Stick it in here. Continue. Okay. Come out of this. Don't really need to save that. Let's come out of that. Okay, so this is our exported collision. Let's stick that up there. Let's go into three uh, open IV. Open. Mods. Edit mode, yeah. Export collision. There's our collision. Stick it in here. So it's called YouTube collision. And there is our our collision. Okay, so next step, part four. I'm gonna show you how to import all these into into Code Walker. So then we can actually test the map on our server. And make sure everything's how we want it. But first, before I do anything, 
our mainstream folder, which is going to be this one. Let's put that collision in there as well. And I'll see you in part four.